So we're going to demonstrate a, a few more really cool properties of the water. One of them is I want to demonstrate what happens when you rinse your fruits and vegetables with your tap water at home. Let's get a little tap water here. And I'm putting something in there called O2O drops. These are, this is a chlorine testing agent. And if the water turns yellow, it shows that there's chlorine in the water. And as we can see, we've turned yellow. I'm going to take these strawberries and just drop them in the water. And we'll let them soak for a couple seconds and then we'll come back to this. And while that's happening, we've got some green tea here. This is Bigelow green tea, just a standard green tea. And I've got a pitcher of tap water and I've got a picture, pitcher of Chanson ionized water. So we'll take the tap water and we'll put it in this first cup. Give it about a half cup of water. And then we'll take the 9.5 pH water. And I'm going to dip both of these a little bit and let's see what happens. You can see immediately that the ionized water tea starts to shed its color and even becomes extremely yellow. You see the difference here? Now, not only does it pull the tea out more because the cluster of the water molecule is smaller with ionized water and the alkalinity helps to penetrate better. But this actually will taste like a full, rich, boiled green tea. And the cool thing about it is you didn't have to boil it, you didn't have to use energy, you didn't have to heat up your house in a summer day to make your tea, and it's full bodied and full flavored. Now I'm gonna pour a couple more glasses of this 9.5. And for those of you who are frugal, you're gonna just love this because what we're demonstrating here is that you can take that one tea bag and instead of throwing it out like you always do, you can make yourself a whole bunch of glasses of tea. And we can go on and on and on. Now before I move away from this, just so nobody thinks that I'm pulling something here, let's get some more tap water. And let me take the same tea bag we've been using to make all these and let's see if the tap water will make it yellow. And you see it does not. Now let's go back to our fruit here. And let's see what we end up with. Hello, where'd the chlorine go? Where'd all that yellow water go? <laughs> it went into the strawberries. So even a quick rinse of refugian vegetables with tap water, they're like sponges. They suck the chlorine in immediately. The properties of the water just go on and on. The more you learn about it, the more incredible it is. And I'll tell you, wait until you taste this tea. It tastes like any boiled tea. It's full bodied. It's a full flavored tea. It's just phenomenal. Now that was a cool demonstration, but I want to make sure you all understand what that meant, what I was showing you. That means that the water, the ionized water, is microclustered and is able to get into that tea bag and break it down faster than the tap water. Now standard water has a cluster size of 16 to 18 molecules. When the water passes through the electricity chamber in the ionizer, it's broken down to four to six molecules per cluster. What does that mean to you health-wise? Well, we talked about hydration at the beginning of this. There's nothing more important than hydration. So why wouldn't you drink a water that can hydrate you at a much higher rate than any other water out there? And by the way, now that this tea bag has been sitting, I got one more glass of alkaline water. For any of you who think that we're trying to pull something here. And let's go right back and make ourselves another rich bag of tea. You know, I've never actually set up uh, tried to hit the Guinness World Book of Records with this and see how many cups of tea I can make with one tea bag. But hey, there's some money savings right there. Get ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, five cups of tea on one tea bag. We could probably go 20 on this with no problem. There are three major benefits to this water that are important to me. One is the ability to go from a neutral pH of about 7.4 to 9.5 being able to alkalinize, alkalinize the body is quite important. The ability for the water to be microclustered, 
which gives a person a much better chance to be hydrated. The example that I've used in the past is if you imagine your intestines as a wire fence and you throw tennis balls against it, it bounces off. If you throw marbles against it, it goes right through. So if a person who is chronically constipated, if a person who is chronically dehydrated, drinks microclustered water, which the chance in water is, those molecules will get into the cells and allow for much greater hydration than regular water that is not microclustered.